नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग राम राम वेलकम टू योर चैनल एसी एस्ट्रो एंड टुडे वी आर हेयर विद अ वीडियो वेरी स्पेशल वीडियो आई थिंक लॉट्स ऑफ पीपल वेटिंग फॉर दिस सेटन विल बिकम डायरेक्ट ऑन फिफ्टींथ ऑफ नवंबर 2024 एंड नाउ द पीरियड हैज कम व्हेन द रेट्रोग्रेशन इज एंडिंग एंड सेटन विल ब्रिंग डिफरेंट रिजल्ट फॉर डिफरेंट असाइनमेंट्स बट व्हाट रिजल्ट्स दैट आकाश जी विल टेल लेट्स वेलकम आकाश जी फ्रॉम कैलगरी कैलगरी नाउ नमस्कार राम राम नमस्कार रोहित जी राम राम all the best for everyone who is watching roj ji yes a uh, very very beautiful um, thing is happening on 15th of november 2024 saturn is going to turn direct and uh, while i was learning about saturn direct i came across very very important thing a story like always roj ji once upon a time in the celestial system saturn the wise and the stern planet embarked on a journey through the realms of aquarius the sign of innovation humanity and forward thinking ideals known as shani in the vedic tradition saturn was often misunderstood where other planets you know whenever we talk about saturn is all about fear right but other planets they used to bring fortune charm or warmth saturn was always around trials delays and test of perseverance yet beneath this daunting facade saturn's essence was rooted in fairness discipline and growth through enduring life challenges now what happened the celestial council came into play saturn moved through uh, you know aquarius he observed the world with a very very heavy heart he thought that people below in this whole world are entangled in chaos this pursuing fleeting desires neglecting the virtues of respons- responsibility and forgetting the value of long term efforts saturn felt very very torn his retrograde period had caused many to reflect but without moving forward progress seemed stalled humanity tethered between hope and despair awaiting guidance one evening after hearing prayers of earth dwellers the other celestial bodies gathered in great council and they came all came together and jupiter you know brahaspati dev who's the guru of you know perceptor of gods Uh, he said the planet of wisdom stood up and said saturn you have been traveling backward in time allowing mortals to reconsider their actions to reflect on their choices but now they need your guidance in moving forward because things are very very steady for everyone they are not able to it's all going back and back no one is able to move forward they are ready for your discipline and structure once more so now give them a chance that's why saturn uh, being a planet of uh, you know justice it gets retrograde for almost 5 months 140 days so very very much here venus who's saturn's very best friend the planet of love and harmony added while your lessons are hard saturn they bring balance and fairness the people of earth need to learn not only the dream you know we dream okay i will have this big car but how but to manifest those dreams through hard work and focus so venus spoke in the favor of saturn saturn stoic as ever listened his mind swirled with the weight of responsibility oh my god now i have to do something because people are now banking on me once i become direct their things their karmas will finish here saturn something came to his mind he said that could human humanity truly learn from its mistakes was it ready for discipline and boundaries he demanded let's see you know he he was very confused while he was confused he was meditating and during that meditation saturn a chaya graha another chaya came in front of his that was no one else but his inner conscious which came in front of him as saturn drifted silently through the celestial sky he began to contemplate his own purpose why am i feared you know do you like some and anyone would say that why everyone fears me i come people are scared he asked himself why do my test fills mortal with dread with when all i wish is to teach the beauty of patience power and perseverance at that moment lord shani the embodiment of lord planet saturn appeared before him as a mirror image cloaked in dark robes with a solemn face etched with wisdom and age lord shani spoke in deep resonant voice you are feared because your lessons are not easy yet they are most essential mortals look for quick rewards but the path you show is one of the sustained effort you are their guide to true success the the kind that cannot be taken away by time or fortune remember whatever saturn gives is permanent that's why this is very important saturn's inner self only spoke to itself saturn moved by the words from his divine form he said that okay i know everything why was i getting feared he began to understand that his retrograde motion had been necessary for a time of reflection for people to reassess 
you know, their lives and action, also the mistakes that they have done in the past. But now it was time for him to move direct, to lead once more with purpose and to shape the future of those who were ready to embrace his teachings. Such a beautiful story. Now, what happened? Direct motion happened. With newfound clarity, Saturn turned direct in Aquarius, a sign of community, innovation, and collective good. And this is his Mool Trikon sign. He looked down on the world with renewed determination. His test would still be there. People would still face delays, obstacles, and challenges. But those who embrace the value of hard work, patience, and discipline would be rewarded with stability lasting success and the ability to leave a legacy go and check those who are from india go and check the birth chart of ratan tata ji look at saturn in his life he has left a legacy with that specific you know uh you don't you think that he never faced delays he never faced obstacles or challenges a lot of things but you know his patience his hard work discipline in life brought a lot of stability lasting success and ability to leave a legacy and that's why he's called mahatma now Lord Shani is influenced with the energy of Karma Yoga, the practice of selfless action. As Saturn turned direct, he carried the principles to earth. Let them learn the joy of working not for immediate gain, but for the satisfaction of building something eternal. So those people who are always feared about Saturn or always, you know, abusing Saturn. I have so many people who abuse Saturn. Saturn, but but bad Saturn ruined my life. This is very important to understand. The effect of Saturn turning direct would be profound. As his gaze fell upon Earth, those who were lost in indecision felt a new sense of clarity. The ambitious found structure in their efforts. Projects that had been delayed were completed and began. people began to work with discipline and purpose. Relationships once strained by misunderstanding were mended through patience and commitment. So, Ruiji, this is how Saturn... The most misunderstood planet. Always, everyone thinks, "Oh, Sari Sati has come. I am destroyed." This, that. This is how it worked for the human human race. What do you think, Rohit about this? Definitely, Saturn is. You know, uh, we say him the supreme justice planet. And uh, you rightly said that in retrograde motion, he gave you the time. You just go and look after all things what you have done in past. If you want to mend that thing, if you want to, you know. Uh, repeat your mistake that's on to you then i am coming on 15th of november i will tell you what i can do so yes saturn uh, no planet even saturn rahu ketu any planet is just here to give you the result now what you will sow that you will reap now you have to see what you have to do and saturn is first in this because he is uh, nyayadhish chief justice and this story rohit ji if you see uh, this is the story that is a very important meaning about the story that sometimes you know we need to talk to our inner self to understand that we are not wrong only the thing is the the people that are looking at us is looking in a wrong way that's why saturn shani devta he spoke to his inner conscious when it when the chaya that means he is a chaya putra he is a shadow putra his shadow came in front of him he gave him the clear answer that okay listen you know don't worry about it you are doing the right stuff you don't need to go anywhere it is only thing is that uh, this is your key role in your life to give delays obstacle challenges so that people can have stability lasting success and the ability to leave a legacy so very beautiful when i read this uh, i was like very mesmerized so i thought maybe i will write it down and put it in front of everyone definitely thanks for sharing such beautiful story and thoughts because astrology is all about logics and basics what you give always before your videos this is appreciated right rohit ji here moving on uh, this another good news that is starting 9th of november astrology for beginners the 8 week course will start and uh, you know the mode is zoom and uh, i think i don't know why they have put it i, I think the course is complete but still if you have luck uh, try talk to samantha and maybe in this 9th november batch you will enroll yourself aries ascendant people rohit ji now here quickly we are going to discuss about all the 12 signs saturn is in the 11th house and its mool trikon sign and was retrograde for last 5 months now it is getting direct from 15th of november 2024 now the key themes of this special placement is about gains about social networks about friendship elder siblings ambitions wishes hopes everything is seen from the 11th house and in all these areas there might have been you might have been facing delays or may have to reconsider a lot of things now this is the time that direct motion of saturn that starts will 
encourage steady gains in income so that means number one problem that was going on for all the early session and people related to income is now going to see a very very beautiful seen long term investments and support from friends influential people somewhere there in the society is also going to be very very awesome goals that were set previously begin will begin to materialize you know things were delaying nothing or you made a company you thought you'll do something nothing you did not even do one transaction so now such kind of things will also start improving in fact this is also a time that you will gain respect in your social circle and any effort made towards networking will yield very positive results so this is a time to be little bit of extrovert go out try to make you know a lot of relationships and friendship will solidify because now you have understood the real meaning of friendship in this retrograde period you must have seen that which friends in the time of distress came in front of you try to help you on the other hand you may also get recognition and rewards for your hard work so it's one of the most beautiful times for aries ascendant people there is one more thing here saturn is aspecting your ascendant so that means the 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 desire of not functioning yourself only right some very laziness will also go out and there will be a urge or a kind of a hunger to find your inner self and try to reflect it it will reflect in front of you give you more things in fact things related to education also that were slowed down will move forward and lot of opportunities of education and romantic partners and marriage will also come those people who are in work like research because saturn's 10th aspect is on the 8th house those people in research in occult things become very good very positive very very you know there break through many people who are doing research and on the last stage of getting success may get success during this time so embrace this beautiful saturn direct in aquarius from 15th of november 2024 now in the beginning i have discussed about the story about saturn getting you know direct and how it spoke to its own shadow so do listen to that and there is a whatsapp link in the description also for personal appointments you can see below if you want we can talk about your chart in detail all the best Taurus ascendant people, Rohiti. Here, Saturn is turning direct in Aquarius from fifteenth of November in the tenth house. So Saturn is the tenth house lord. It's a extremely yoga karka planet for Taurus ascendant people. Now it's one of the best friends of uh, Venus also. Here, the key themes that will affect or that are affected right now is career, reputation, status, public life, authority. All these places is where you have been struggling a lot from last five months, especially to get lot of endings in your reputation or maybe career growth, finding a new job. getting into new job getting promoted your authority not coming there is no power that you are able to gain this retrograde period was a time to reflect back and understand that where you lacked what kind of training you needed and now that you are absolutely coming with lot of bang lot of hard work that you have done over yourself over changing your personality this saturn in direct in 10th house will promise career advancement through very much structured approach and you know efforts and discipline this is what it is your approach should be very structured your effort should be very structured and your discipline should be very much there and absolutely your hard work and perseverance at workplace will start paying off why not the saturn is called karma phal data that means whatever you will sow is what you will reap so if you have given your hard work and people have taken uh, you know some people like taurus season people are quite uh seen because ascendant lord sometimes becomes very weak uh here the problem is that such people do lot of hard work but other people come and take the credit now just giving you a very stupid example but this will relate with you you are the bull king of taurus you know bull you are working day and night hard in the field and the person who's driving you that means your boss that means the farmer goes to the market and you know says wow you have such a beautiful uh Uh, what you say, uh, fossil or what you say, what you call beautiful yield this time of the grains. What beautiful hard work you have done. They don't remember that fifty percent of the hard work was of the bull. Same way, your hard work was not getting recognized. Now this is the time that it will get recognized. In fact, there is a possibility of promotions, greater responsibility. Saturn is all about responsibilities, giving you judgment about whatever true you have done. Things coming to you. It is an excellent time for establishing a solid foundation in your professional life and gaining recognition through your contribution, especially on a very karmic level. Also, that forgetting about you know they are paying me for eight hours and I will do this that no. We are. I told Rohit ji. We were talking about this only. We were just talking about this video. I said that I have made the presentation. Is that it's one a.m. in the night. We thought, okay, let's make it right now. So why not? It's all. It's not about the time. It's about the. It's about the emotion. The emotional value. The emotions that you put it in your work, and that is what makes you successful. 
we consider the uh, mercury as a planet of business and everything and communication right and right. whenever there is a mercury moon combination that persons are always very successful you know businessmen because moon is emotions and anything you buy even from the market maybe iphone maybe ipad or anything you buy that because you have a emotional connect with that product right and if you work with emotions and this mercury thoughtfulness and with blessings of saturn definitely that's why you shooting at 1 am in the night because you have passion towards your channel that is the thing it's everything good suroj ji something the problem is with me also i am impulsive so if idea comes to me i have to do it immediately so that is also what happens so it is my also problem but otherwise i am very excited about saturn getting direct because for me also i am a leo ascendant person my saturn is direct not uh, is direct in, uh, is retrograde in the 7th house of relationship partnership and you know i have been facing a lot of struggles in that area so it will be good for me also now here because saturn is putting an exalt uh, debilitated aspect on the 12th house for Taurus ascendant people that is related to foreign travel foreign country foreign settlement job settlement in foreign country such kind of things also may now open up very beautiful things those who are thinking of real estate were getting into it went lot looked for many things now nothing was working now it will start working also and very positive news also for your a uh, relationship because the 10th aspect of saturn is on the 7th so business relationship are going to flourish the most during this time make sure that the approach is always very discipline oriented and you will always have success in the beginning of the video i have told you about a story about saturn so listen to that your eyes will open and you will really know that what kind of personality saturn has all the best 9th of november onwards we are starting the astrology for beginners course so here we can 7 am mountain standard time i think 8 am is the time it is wrong huh? so 8 am like one hour after this is the time and uh, i think almost it is complete so those is i think because i made a video yesterday and today they must they must have put it here saying that okay promote it so all the best and those who will not be able to join this time we will be starting a new new course exactly in 2 months so all the best Gemini ascendant people, Saturn is direct in Aquarius from fifteenth of November twenty twenty four in the ninth house, and the key themes of the ninth house are higher learning, spirituality, philosophy, travel, luck, dharma, righteousness, mentor, teacher. Uh, you know your higher education, anything to do with all the spiritual bliss accumulated and kept in the house fifth from the fifth. Fifth house is past life. This house, ninth house is this life. All the merits that you have. achieved in this life is stored in the 9th house here saturn is retrograde that means your luck was not in your favor you know you had lot of difficulties in moving for higher education you had lot of difficulty related to spirituality or in general luck also like somewhere luck is not working for you now saturn in the 9th house will bring lot of focus this is the mool trigon sign of saturn that means saturn is absolutely very comfortable here but in retrograde motion it gives you time saying that okay i will relax now you think how to go about it here this is the time that specially any commitment anything that was related to education related to long distance travel spiritual growth you will have the opportunity to make significant progress in this areas especially higher studies philosophical areas very very significant success you will get saturn will stabilize your belief this is a house of belief of dharma making you more grounded practical you must have understood that okay man luck does not favor all the time hard work hard work has to be put in and that is what you have been doing from past because see saturn is also putting an aspect on the house of gains that is a debilitated aspect so your goals might not be getting complete you must be now working more hard double shift double time to make sure that your goals are getting complete now saturn on the other hand will uh it is also great time for establishing meaningful relationship with mentors or teachers because saturn the way if you see the story in the beginning saturn because they are very higher beings and higher conscious that's why they are gods and they rule our lives you know so they have they also wanted to take the advice of a mentor so jupiter brahaspati uh, shukracharya both the gurus stood up and told that saturn you need to do this and saturn listen to them so during this time is very important to take external advice as well and try to listen to gurus mentors teachers your bosses some people who are spiritually very advanced in life and try to take life lessons from them very important your gains will start happening communication will be at the peak awesome communication and there can also be possibility that those who are going through legal troubles debt problems and things things you will see a lot of improvement in these areas as well 
all the best guys it's a beautiful beautiful transit for you here uh, there is a whatsapp link in the description also for personal appointments and do not forget to watch the story in the beginning you will really really it will mesmerize about saturn's real values that it has all the best uh, cancer ascendant people saturn is direct in aquarius from 15th of november 2024 in your 8th house 8th house, house of transformation now the key themes that are related to this house is transformation occult science inheritance shared resources i uh, got a reply from uh, I, not a reply i got a feedback from someone they said that in the videos the time you put you know the key themes for this house is that and that so we will we are also learning with it that okay this is the house that is related to this this is how so you know this is just a revision for all the people and for me also who am i i am also learning every day revision to understand that we do not miss any aspect or any the two o's opportunities or obstacles we do not miss it during this time when saturn is direct is opportunities and opportunities here saturn is direct in the 8th house specially related to transformation occult sciences inheritance shared resources some luck from lottery accidents fear bad habits anything to do with your in laws anything to do with the gains from your partnership business everything is seen through the 8000 there are 10000 more things that you can see here this is just tip of the iceberg that i have spoken about saturn in the 8th house enhances your ability to deal with changes in life especially with you know a lot of maturity coming in so before 5 months and now a lot of maturity you will see that okay you know my approach is very different my maturity is at a different level and stuff like that and now saturn moves direct matters related to joint finances especially investment that has been done in very very past with two people other than that inheritances or debts will become very clear and easier to handle this is the time that you will be absolutely there to repay your debts and stuff like that so it's a beautiful time for you you will find more emotional resilience and will be able to ch uh, face challenges head on you'll say that what bad then la past can happen now let me go directly and i'll see what happens so those are going to sari sati also very good time for them saturn is going to give you very good results in its mool trikon and those who are going to sari sati here uh, on the sign of aquarius their third phase of sari sati will start so you know absolutely ending of sari sati is very very good for you you will find more emotional resilience and occult or spiritual interest may also deepen during this time offering insights into inner strength and you know in your uh, your consciousness this is the time to speak to your conscious if you go in the beginning and listen to the story you will see that how saturn you know he started speaking to his own conscious saturn's reflection came in front of him and gave him advice about what he should be doing so absolutely now those cancer people who have been struggling in the career area and especially you know getting designation or promotion because of the third aspect of saturn that was also retrograde so things were not coming into action now this third aspect of saturn on the 10th house make sure that your reputation and career and power increases in fact your wealth also increases because of seventh aspect on the second house and the 10th aspect on the fifth house will make sure that relationship with children love life and also some kind of lottery kind of uh, yoga is also happening so be very very awesome blissful beautiful transit for cancer ascendant people now here uh, there is a whatsapp link in the description also for personal appointments and in the beginning i have told about a story don't miss it it's very very awesome story 9th of november don't miss this also we are starting astrology for beginners the eight week course so those who have joined welcome to the team have fun you're in one step now closer to me and the knowledge uh, which i have little bit of knowledge which i want to share and also we are a extended family now those who are joining now all the best for them also Leo Simha Leo ascendant Saturn is turning direct especially in the 7th house very important house for you the key themes of the house related to 7th is partnership marriage business contract public image but it is also victory in court cases it is also divorce it is also related to with spouse behavior it is also related to do with uh, real estate in a foreign country it is also to do with happiness of mother and so many things awesome right and this is just tip of an iceberg if we go house by house it's called bhavat bhavam it will take uh, like for a year to tell what all saturn really means here or what all the seventh house really means but a very important house 10th from the 10th and very important for public image saturn here for leo ascendant people rules your health your work your discipline your culture and also your relationships your faithfulness your uh you know partnerships and everything is ruled by saturn and saturn is sitting in mool trikon sign in the kendra in the 7th house being a maraka here saturn's direct motion in the 7th house will strengthen committed relationships then maybe that may be both personal and professional whatever committed relationship you have on a legal basis that okay you are my wife i am your husband you are my business partner i am your business partner in that area you may 
notice very very great things also you may notice a greater maturity and responsibility on how you approach partnership and how you approach partnership uh, decisions together collective decisions during this time this is an ideal time to solidify long term commitments such as marriage or business alliances bringing a sense of stability and reliability to these areas in fact any challenges in relationship will start resolving with patience structure and the discipline that you have maintained sometimes saturn also says be very slow and silent don't react immediately okay so if you see a lion in front of you immediately react lion will go aggressive will eat you so it is better to just calm down lion will think what the hell why is this person not reacting you know, calm down relax this is how saturn's approach here in your relationship should be calm relax you should not be focusing too much on aggressive approach very relax and you know wait for the right time to hit the nail don't just make noise just hit the nail on the right time so that one time noise everything is solved here your destiny which is the most important one where saturn is putting a debilitated aspect on the ninth house will start moving now slowly but you know very very progressive approach in higher less higher studies effort in higher studies that you are doing will be now get, getting a lot of fruits your your you yourself will show a very big disciplined approach in your life because it is aspecting your ascendant also so your discipline your character changes and saturn aspecting the 10th house uh, or 10th from itself that is the 4th house means real estate transactions some kind of very possible good things related to real estate can happen or there can also be travel away from you know home for education or something to a foreign country settlement in foreign country is also possible so great time for all the leo ascendant people it's beautiful time for you now there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal appointments so do go there and if you want to discuss your chart one on one you're welcome and in the beginning i have told you about story about saturn so please listen to that if you listen to that you will get a lot of clarity and stop abusing saturn like play people are saturn ne barbaad kar diya saturn has ruined my life saturn has this no one can ruin your life man it is you yourself who has ruined your life with your karmas so that's what it is virgo ascendant people saturn is turning direct in aquarius in its mool trigon sign on 15th of november 2024 now the key themes of the 6th house is health daily work routine service competition enemies deaths anything to do with you know big health problems anything to do with um, uh, workplace politics anything to do with enemies trying to harm you or enemies trying to get defeated by your energy so you are also very powerful here Saturn's direct transit is a very very awesome time for all the people especially you know for Virgo ascendant people Saturn is not a very bad planet it is a very good planet it rules the 5th and the 6th house that means it rules a very positive trigona also here Saturn will enhance your work ethic and efficiency in managing daily routines that means you will be more civilized or you know structured during this time this is an excellent time to tackle health issues and health issues will also come on surface and you will be able to really get rid of this there is also uh, you know uh, there are good things like to uh, you know saturn is all about naturopathy also anything to do with nature anything to do with the energy of meditation energy of hatha yoga saturn is a very very hatha yoga believer here uh, your immune system your healthier habits and everything will increase if you use such kind of yogic practices in your life and you know that will also put you in lot of discipline so surya namaskar or doing some kind of thing related to you know something with your body weight is also very good there is one very good remedy those people who have arthritis and saturn is responsible for arthritis because it rules the joints uh, here uh, you know putting uh castor oil on your joints you know is going to help with arthritis that is what saturn's uh, remedy for medical astrology tells about and this is because sixth house that's why i remembered at work discipline pays off and you can overcome competitors through perseverance there is also this is the house of competition so you may succeed in competition somewhere which you gave exam not working out now you give again it will happens interview did not work out now you give out it's going to be happen legal matters on the other hand or disputes if any may turn in your favor so you are going to be overpowering your enemies also and provided you be very vigilant because we cannot have any focus lose any focus here we have to be very focused during this time now long term fear that was in your mind because saturn was retrograde you know and we put a retrograde aspect on the 8000 that is long term things third aspect of saturn niche aspect long term you know fear in your mind will now go away 
you will say that nothing can happen. Everything is done. I will be victorious. Foreign travel, anything to do with foreign country settlement in that area, visa, short distance travel also for a foreign country to finish off your some of your work will also happen because of the aspect of Saturn on the 12th as well as the third house of short distance travel and 12th house of long distance travel. So beautiful time coming for people. Those who are visa was not getting stamped because third house aspect of Saturn on 10th aspect on third house, you will receive communication of visa stamp for your career, for, you know, career advancement and whatnot. So beautiful, wonderful, awesome time for all the Virgo Ascendant people. Do subscribe. I have seen that you guys don't subscribe. Uh, do subscribe and there is a WhatsApp link in the description for personal appointments. And those who are watching the video for the first time and, uh, you know, don't know about astrology for beginners, I think 9th of November here is for you. Uh, weekends, it's going to be the course. And there are so many topics that we are going to discuss from origin of planets till the 27 nakshatras and every detail between them. Uh, all the best. More information in the link below. All the best. Libra Ascendant people. Libra. So Saturn is direct in Aquarius from 15th of November 2024 for all the library ascendant people here. Creativity, children, romance, education, speculation, a lot of things like luck, lottery, everything is taken into consideration because fifth house is where Saturn is giving its small tricone sign. And Saturn is the most benefic planet for Libra ascendant people. In Lal Kitab, in the red book, Pandit Joshi ji says that uh, uh, Venus is the Mashuka of Saturn. Shani ki mashuka hai shukra. So Shani treats Sat, uh, Venus as girlfriend. <laughs> I don't know in what sense uh, he wrote, but uh, he wrote it for fun only. So I was also writing my book. I used some very, very harsh, very, very bad words in the book also. I'm writing the book. Uh, just another astrology book this is the title of the book. So it's going to be very much uh, people is going to people are going to be very much after my life those the scholars who will read this they will say i'm so stupid and i'm so bad and i'm so direct in some of my things because a lot of antivishwas or what we saw a lot of superstitions is there in the world which i was thinking to ward off by giving logic and giving the real examples for it so anyways here fifth house very important house children romance education this is also the house of unconditional love for children, you have unconditional love. You do not ask anything for them in favor. In fact, for your loved ones, for your romantic partner also, you have unconditional love. That is how it is. Saturn turning direct in the fifth house encourages your approach to creative projects with greater seriousness and dedication. This is the time that you need to show serious efforts here. There is also possibility that this will bring a lot of stability in relationships with children and they may also achieve success through discipline of efforts. Romance may take more mature and committed tone and this is the time many people will be getting married because the aspect of Saturn on the the debilitated aspect of Saturn on the seventh house will also get a lot of relief and a lot of communication related to okay, marriage and verbal commitment that had happened in the past. Now it is going to mature and manifest. Educational pursuit, speculative investment will see slow but steady growth is handled wisely. So make sure that you are using uh, in the education also, because this is the house of, this is the Libra ascendant people are not slow learners, but they are, they learn everything very, very permanent. That's why most of Libra ascendant people are into sales and marketing, a lot of hard work kind of business where they have approach towards, uh, you know, a lot of public dealings has, are been done by Libra ascendant people, always public. They're always around people. They're always convincing other people because of Saturn being the fifth house Lord. Here, Saturn's aspect is also there on the 11th house, on the 7th house, and on the 2nd house. Here, I told you, all the relationship is going to become more deepened than mature relationship commitments will come. So that means you will be getting married or there may be proposals. Your gains is also increasing because of the 7th aspect of Saturn on the 11th, especially, you know, collaborating with all the people from the social circle may give you more gains. And Saturn aspecting the second house is very very beautiful because the 10th aspect of saturn that means gains of wealth through career is also coming so beautiful time for all the libra ascendant people libra ascendant people whatsapp link is in the description for personal appointments and in the beginning of the video i have told you about a story and do subscribe i have seen that your trend is down now not subscribing anymore please subscribe Scorpio ascendant people. Saturn is direct in Aquarius and 15th of November 2024 onwards in your fourth house. And the key themes related to this house is your home, the dwelling that you are into, your family, the real estates that you own, emotional foundations, inner peace, social security, father-in-law, 
anything to do in terms of relatives close relatives deep roots where you come from your childhood everything is all considered with the 4000 fourth house only here saturn's direct motion here will cause lot of stabilize you know it will stabilize lot of matters related to home family life somewhere there was a lot of chaos or there was no complete closure in things you will find closure here this is a very absolute amazing time for real estate investments or renovations also you know saturn will help you bring build always long lasting foundation so that means anything that you do during the period when saturn is direct this will make sure that long term you will not get any problem in that uh, uh, you know what you say in that uh, area that's why during saturn direct those people like scorpio ascendant people who have saturn rules their third and fourth house effort and your inner peace happiness they should start doing workout and stuff like that because during this time the workout that they do is going to be permanent the body is changing bodily changes will be very permanent here emotional maturity helps you handle family responsibilities better now and there may also be new found sense of inner peace and security that comes from managing domestic affairs and very effectively so that in the home area all the chaos will go in simple words the problem that was happening in home area work life balance nothing was coming on in the area related to your career also you know because of the retrograde seventh aspect of saturn you know it was little bit challenge but now again it's an awesome time health wise also you may be feeling little bit of challenge or again those people who are not getting approval for loan related to their house and you know things like that will also be very good and because it is aspecting your ascendant so yourself your attitude will become very disciplined this time saturn has taught you a lot of things now it is going to make sure that you are on the right path and that's why this discipline will be there for a long term and then once you are used to it saturn will move to the pisces sign and then work on different aspects of your life again so all the best guys beautiful time for scorpio sign and people there is a whatsapp link in description for personal appointments and starting 9th of november a astrology course is also happening so you should be joining this other than that those who are watching the for the first time subscribe i have a very very important message please subscribe sagittarius ascendant people saturn is turning direct in aquarius on 15th of november 2024 here the key themes are communication sibling short trips learning new skills because it's the third house third house is also the house of you know personal interest talking about uh, you know <clears throat> your siblings your younger siblings the neighborhood where you stay your immediate social media anything written communication and so many things and you can keep counting and on and on and on and on and on here this is the time that saturn especially sitting in upchaya house whenever saturn is third house sixth house eighth house eleventh house twelfth house saturn gives good results and especially for sagittarius saturn people is the owner of wealth but also a maraka a extreme maraka second house lord is extreme maraka seventh house lord is very minor maraka that means seventh house dasha will come so health problems will happen second house dasha will come or second house problem comes then thank you so much welcome here second saturn is in the third house encourages focused efforts in communication skill development and you may be you may have learned during this time that you know sometimes when your communication is not in the disciplinary way or not kept things are not kept on mail or not kept on written communication then things backfire on you only yourself you say that what the hell man it, 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 it completely backfired on me only now it's very important to have focused efforts in communication skill development everything to do with very very systematically as it turns direct you'll be able to establish better relationship with siblings with neighbors short trips which were a little bit challenging or very strugglesome it will be strugglesome again but this is the time work or learning purposes will be very very beneficial you may now gain also from it you may be able to close the deal third house is also signature communication that okay finally i hire you third house i fire you third house i sign this contract third house i cancel this contract third house everything is third house so make sure that you see whenever you're doing anything related to such things you may also find that any challenges related to communication writing projects now will move forward and with more disciplined approach you will be able to even close it at a very very early stage in your life there may be have been little difficulty in communication or not communication in expressing your creative thoughts in expressing or in related to education you may not be in the right space of education but here saturn's aspect on the fifth house shows that debilitated aspect is also going to get relief and here possibility of people 
honestly possibility that love life education everything will you you the effort that you have put in the past will now start gaining that reaping that benefits results the fruits certain aspect in the ninth house higher education see both the house of education it is aspecting higher education is also seen that during this time if higher education was your goal or purpose you will be going there and that too especially in a foreign country because of the aspect of saturn on the 10th house is also possible but because of your creativity for education for also so many good things you may travel to foreign country in a longer period longer maybe for a short period of time one year two year but it will be for a great benefit great awesome benefit for all the sagittarius ascendant people all the best guys there is a whatsapp link in the description for personal purpose and you are not subscribing all the people come free free for you man just click the button but you don't do it and then you go away very bad not happening capricorn ascendant people the people who have the most powerful sign that is capricorn people say that and there will be people in the group fighting that we are the most difficult we are the most worst this is happening that is happening all bullshit man you are the most powerful person you are all discipline oriented saturn is mool trikon for your second house that is the house related to finance family value speech material possession self respect your bank balance any investment from the family family business and so many things saturn turning direct here means that you must have already gone through all these things in the past that okay this is not happening this is not happening this was bad this was my wrong decision this is how what i should not have done i should have done this this is the time that it will bring stability number one in financial matters that is the most problematic thing that was happening for capricorn ascendant in the last few months financially stability is not coming only some expense or something is coming up and up and up and up it's a time to focus on savings also manage resources very carefully this is the time to increase your fixed assets securing long term wealth how will that happen you know buy gold right now for example next 5 years later that gold will have more value so this is the time of that kind of investments your effort to improve your financial standing will bear fruit although patience is needed i told you buy a gold now 5 years later it will give you something but anything brought during this period when your saturn is telling you that during this time i am the energy for your uh, you know fixed assets to increase so do invest into sometimes you know people are so i told someone roy ji buy some gold buy some silver he said oh gold is so expensive i said silver you know you cannot spend like If you spend appointment के लिए hundred dollars with me, you spend hundred dollars, you'll get at least uh, one, two, three ounce of silver. Keep it; it will become one twenty, one fifty, one seventy. That is how wealth increases, right? You cannot think that I will buy one kg gold at once. No, people buy one gram. I have been really started to buy one gram, then two gram, then five gram because that was my capability, my affordability. So I was doing that. With that, we start building small, small things. Don't wait for oh, I will one day only I will make big thing. No. that's not how millionaires and billionaires are made they in every small detail they are into the every small thing they grab every small opportunity also so try to you know start investing small 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 things here relationship within the family will also stabilize you may find that your words carry more weight and responsibility than you know you were thinking this is a this is the house of speech man the you will be speaking wisdom you will be speaking knowledge you will be speaking patience you will be speaking so many beautiful things when saturn turns direct here do not hesitate in speaking that's what is required for all the capricorn ascendant people now because saturn is placed here in the second house wealth and everything increases but somewhere there will be a little bit of challenges also especially challenges saturn aspecting the third house challenges mostly related to your real estate you know some kind of settlement in you know where you want to settle or you know go to foreign country and stuff like that so relation uh, you know your settlement home home environment was not happening some kind of problems was going on things will become better here in fact those people who are going through long term illness also health wise also problems or struggle or you know mental stress or fighting in courts for inheritance getting into ha bad habits trying to leave them this is also very good time because saturn is aspecting the 8th house and giving lot of uh, you know promise that good things are going to come from this 8th house and gains second house saturn sitting in the second house looking at the 11th house with the 10th aspect means gains from career gains from business is also seen and not small gains big gains permanent gains gain of a contract that will run for 10 years 
this is what saturn does people don't understand all this they want that okay this contract is for 10 years what is this i am getting 50000 a month but just see this duration for 10 years you get 200000 but it is that value is only for 2 years 3 years 4 years but 10 years is big long term thing saturn will always give you long term things so try to get into long term goals also that next 10 years i will be in that this position in life that is what should be manifested during this time all the best guys there is a whatsapp link in the description and capricorn ascendant people you are not subscribing i know i have seen this whenever i go and look at the graph libra ascendant number 1 Taurus ascendant number two, um, Pisces ascendant number three, Capricorn number ten, I think, number twelve, I think. So please subscribe. It's free for you guys. It's very motivation for us. All the best, guys. And ninth of November is when astrology for beginners course will also start. So those who have enrolled, all the best. I welcome you with my open arms, and we will discuss a lot of beautiful things. And those who are enrolling now, all the best to them also. Maybe you join this batch or the next. Depends on when, what time you. and roll all the best guys thank you aquarius ascendant people now saturn is turning direct on 15th of november 2024 in the ascendant ascendant lord mool trikon sitting in the ascendant one of the most benefic planet for aquarius ascendant people after no venus after venus yeah venus is the number one second is saturn here here because it is the first house the key themes will be self your personality your physical body your outlook on your life your attitude your nature your well being your health every aspect of your wealth every aspect of your life is connected to the ascendant that means to this first house here when sat in its own house and turning direct in your first house you will feel more grounded responsible and mature and disciplined because this is what you lacked in the past and once you started uh, you know focusing on these things things became much better for you your wealth also started increasing it's an excellent time for self improve uh, improvement and taking charge of your life with a clear sense of direction and this charge that you take now will be for a very long term you say okay you know what i will start going to gym from 15th of november so this will continue for a very long period because you have taken initiative during the time saturn was showing its uh you know ability to give you long term benefits also remember saturn in this year in this current two and a half years has come to make sure that your personality becomes very much disciplined and focused next time it will go to the second house and it will start improving your wealth for the next two and a half years then it will go to the third house start improving your communication so you know this is how saturn this is how our life also continues sometime once we are married we are very much focused in marriage for the first 6 to 8 months okay we just got married people will come greet us and what not same way when saturn is in this position or when anything any energy any planet goes into certain house it is there to repair and you know reap benefits out of that house and create two os for you obstacles and opportunities for that house here the obstacle is that you can be lazy and obstacle will be there the opportunity is that if you show even one discipline effort here it's an excellent time for self improvement you may experience greater confidence in tackling challenges and will be more mindful of long term goals like very very awesome time for you but you have to do it during 15th of november time this transit can also bring a sense of maturity and resilience making you more focused on personal growth you know sometime people we don't rely on us saying that oh, this person is not mature enough this is the time that people will rely on your advice your advice will be picking a keeping a very big what you say say in any decision that is supposed to be taken in a collective way why because saturn's third aspect on the house of communication will get eased you will get more clear disciplined very uh, systematic approach towards uh, your communication saturn's aspect on the 7th or that mean relationship values you will take more value in relationship that okay no money everything is on the side now i need to make sure that the relationship is saved and also the 10th aspect of saturn on the 10th house commits that you know work wise career wise power respect gain authority will come to you so it is such a beautiful transit of saturn getting direct when it is retrograde it teaches you things when it is direct it is time for implementation of those things all the best a very very beautiful time for all the people now in the beginning of the video i have told few things about saturn the story of saturn and also i have seen that aquarius people are not subscribing they are number 7 or 8 so why you want to be number 1 right so please subscribe so that it's free for you right subscribe below we i welcome you every message is replied that okay welcome to the team welcome happy to the family have fun ask questions we reply to them so many things and i tell story in all your 
ascendant only all the best guys have a great wonderful day and if anyone wants to take personal appointment all the details are below in the screen as well as if you go down in the description you'll be able to join in fact there is a whatsapp group also link in the description facebook group also join everything so that you know lot of gyan lot of knowledge is flowing there so take some all the best pisces ascendant people one of the most sorted one of the most stable one of the most cold as water wavy as water that kind of sign is pisces ascendant very very they can dissolve anything they can dissolve sorrow also happiness also in them so they are very very you know you go to them pisces i know uh, i am telling because i have personal experience one pisces ascendant people guy i go to him i always start crying i am having this problem that this listening list very good listeners pisces ascendant people here the key theme that you will see during this time of transit of uh, you know saturn shani devta when it turns direct into aquarius on 15th of november 2020 in the 12th house of spirituality isolation foreign and at some cautious mind also your dreams your hospitals jails anything to do in lot of massive isolation or we talk about spiritual bliss awakening enlightenment everything is seen from the 12th house as well punishment this is the house of punishment as well here saturn's direct transit in the 12th house encourages spiritual growth absolutely big spiritual growth and introspection here you may find more discipline in spiritual practices such as meditation yoga hatha yoga for example very very good and understanding of life's deeper meanings may deepen this is the time that your subconscious if you go in the beginning and see the story man you will see that exactly this is what happened with saturn he was at a stage of life when he thought that why everyone fears me why everyone I've, everyone thinks i'm bad i'm this i'm that and that what not here what happened roy ji is that saturn's reflection came in front of him and gave him answers same way this is the time that your reflection will come in front of you and give you lot of answers which are, which will have deeper meanings of your life something about behavior of other people some endings may come some ending of relationships may also come that saying that okay man this was not even required so socially circle my friends and all they were just using me as energy vampires they were trying sucking all my energy nothing progressive were happening such kind of things will also come it is a very good time for planning long term travels or relocating to foreign land look at saturn this is the time saturn is aspecting the second house of gains you know of money gains monetary gains so it shows that monetary gains could have a relationship with the foreign country so that means foreign settlement and gains in foreign countries related to money is also seen secondly saturn is aspecting the seventh aspect of saturn is on the sixth house of enemies so this means that enemies also would right now be a key factor in your life for you know what you say getting something out like something some kind of benefit from enemies also some enemy will come in front of you which is such a stupid person that will go do its own loss and give you a profit this time saturn aspect in the ninth house your destiny also foreign settlement see ninth and 12th house is active that means foreign settlement can happen so this foreign time foreign settlement those people who are dying for going to foreign countries is very good here saturn can help you let go of old fears also or unconscious pattern that no longer serve you providing inner peace in fact dreams sleep pattern happiness uh, your concentration everything will be at peak and very much in alignment of the energy of shani devta so what do you need man very beautiful time to you know reflect back money 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 wise problem is gone debt is going to go down enemy is not going to face you secrets is going to be revealed lot of secrets comes out so beautiful time for pisces and people but not beautiful time for us because you're not subscribing so if you don't subscribe then this is not how it works out one way only so this is wrong 10000 17000 views 30 subscribers increased what does this mean that either we are doing something wrong or you just guys uh, are taking it for granted some people other people who have subscribed as such good they get all the answers to their comments below so be a part let's help each other starting 9th of november is astrology for beginners the 8 week course will also start so all the best for that course also and rohit ji thank you so much for your effort and your patience and always listening to me very patiently thank you rohit ji always there is joy and happiness listening to you i learn so many things when you tell about the aspects and all the stories you told are really insight to the astrology 
thank you very much akash ji thanks to all the family members and for consultations uh, one on one personal consultation with akash ji whatsapp number on the screen link in description box and same number you can use to join astrology classes you will send your message and you will have all the details and from 9th of november the classes are starting thank you very much to all the family members thank you akash ji thank you very much for detailed analysis and uh, we all will gain from this analysis and let's thank see how november and what bring for all people thank you very much we'll meet you in some next video till then jai shri ram ram jai hanuman jai before that rohit ji uh, before concluding this i want to say that thank you for everyone the people who follow us like us be with us it is very much blessing because of them we are existing here thank you and all the best we will see you in the next